Another property we can do with this simulation is reaction to an acid. And again, our unknown liquid up here, which has a pH of 2, that indicates it is an acid. To do this test, I pick up my dropper, place it in my liquid, click, which sucks up a drop of acid in. Now for this particular case, I'm going to start with quartz because I know what's going to happen there. When I put a drop of the liquid on the quartz, there's a little sound of a drop, but really no other reaction. If it reacts to an acid, in addition to the drop and maybe seeing the liquid spread out, you would hear a fizzling and see a little bit of bubbling. Now this is an experiment which is easier to see the results in the lab, but safer for the virtual environment to do it with the simulation. So I'm going to use the drops here on each one of the samples. And again, if you hear a fizzing sound and some bubbles, then it did react, and at least one of these will react. The calcite. The mica. The quartz. The sulfur. the magnetite, the pyrite, and our unknown sample. Again, you may have seen a little bit of spread of a circle of the acid dropping down on the mineral on some of these. But if you did not see bubbling or hear a fizzing sound in the simulation, then that mineral did not react to the acid, but at least one of them did. Record your observations in your lab manual.